what are some of the unique propositions uh, that set the university apart from the others? Okay, it's quite interesting actually. It's that mm. started its educational journey mm. from year 2006. And year on year, this Bank mm. University achieved different milestones. Mm. Like apart from having uh, the charter status in Uganda, uh, when we talk about the unique propositions in terms of our if all stakeholders, mm. in educational institution, the main things are required that number one, the institution should have very good teaching uh, mm. staff members who are having the right uh, sufficient qualifications with the international exposure. Yeah. Number two, there should be some good infrastructure facilities so that individual students can learn. The uh, curriculum is all approved internationally benchmarked. Mm. Also, all the courses, programs are recognized. Or 180 countries, including US, UK, and uh, Canada, Australia, mm. entire of Asia and Africa and oh yeah. Europe. Mm. So the university offers all its education on blended learning platform yeah. and focuses on outcome-based education and experiential learning. So when the students are going through with the education, the unique preposition is every person gets to one-on-one -on -one computer and the learning time is unlimited. <laughs> it means uh, we have sub some different kind of uh, platforms. One is when the students are coming in campus. Apart from that, if they want to go for through our blended learning, mm. so that also unlimited time period is available to them, one-to-one -one student and teacher interaction. Yeah. And uh, the uh, courses or programs are accredited by the IACBE for all our business programs mm -hmm. by the USA. IACBE is basically International Accreditation Council for Business Education, which mm. is approved by the Ministry of Education in the United States. Yeah. And also the university is uh, having a unique tie-up with UCAM University in Spain, mm -hmm. where we have our exchange program for our faculty and our students. Yeah. And each year, our students goes to Spain, and that is completely free. Our students, we don't charge any All money. All of them or just a selective uh, It's actually view. some selective programs okay. because they have some specific funding for some mm -hmm. students. Mm -hmm. And those students who are selected for that uh, exchange program yeah. for one semester, they are not supposed to pay their airfare, visa, stay, food, education in Europe. Oh. for one entire semester Fantastic. and also we have the job portal mm. and entire things are automated mm. so students parents and sponsor can have all their material their payment their records attendance everything for the whole cycle of the student exercises mm. is available on uh, e-portal so university is one of the best and has, she has achieved mm -hmm. all the awards in uh, national and international platform okay Sounds very good. Before I come to uh, to you, Mr. Fad Musa, um, do you guys have PhD programs uh, still? Yes. Over to you, Mr. Pradeep. Uh, actually, the university offers mm. a range of programs, starting from the certificate, diploma, mm. then undergraduate, postgraduate, and also mm. PhD. Mm. The university offers PhD in. Uh, uh, by research in ICT and mm. business and management. Mm. So in these two uh, areas, the university offers PhD. Okay, uh, Mr. Fad. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Muruganda. Oh, I and the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to talk to you now. I'm going to talk to you now. Bursaries, scholarships. Uh, what are some of the, um, the merits that are available to the students that are at Eastbad University on admission? Well, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Henry. Mm. And uh, to all our viewers and listeners, I'm actually yeah. happy to be here with my colleague today. Oh yeah, and uh, sure. we are happy to always spread good news coming from Eastbatch University. Mm -hmm. As we know, uh, any business or any company out there actually has to practice corporate social responsibility in society, mm. which means you always have to have a package that actually caters mm. or cares for people's needs. Mm. So we do have very attractable bursaries and mm. scholarships, mm. and ISBAT is a student centric university. Mm. So apart from taking care of mm. uh, holistic development of students mm. uh, through various curricular, co-curricular and extracurricular activities, mm. the university also offers a wide range of bursaries and scholarships, mm. programs to career aspirants and students. Now, for example, we have merit at school. Mm. For instance, uh, we always know of the cases of uh, if it is senior six level, somebody mm. has managed to achieve like 18, 19 mm. points or 20 points. Mm. And we do have actually scholarships we can give you, mm. which means at the end of the day, you're a top performer in the respective school you've come from, is but is willing to welcome you and cater for you accordingly. Mm. We also have Alibad discount. Now, the beauty about Alibad discount is you actually don't need to wait for your results mm. to come out. 
for instance, uh, the season we're in right now, the senior six is actually waiting for their results. Yes. So they can actually apply and get enrolled at East Bad mm. before the results are out and earn themselves an early bird discount, which means the faster you come to book your spot, mm. we actually have a discount for that as well. Mm. Then we have a bursary for siblings. Yes. So having gone through East Bad University and graduated, and you want to actually bring a sister, bring a brother, bring a cousin, we mm. have a bursary for siblings. There's a percentage that's given for that. We also have a bursary for differentially abled persons, mm. people with disabilities, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. we do also cater for that. And we have alumni scholarship. Alumni. Mm. If you have graduated and you've finished your program mm. that you have actually undertaken with us, let's say if you've done your bachelor's degree, for example, in networking and cybersecurity, and you actually want to come back and upgrade for a master's, mm. we have a discount f- that okay. we'll give. Fantastic. That sounds very great and it's commendable. It's uh, something that is awesome. Now, how would you ensure sustainability of the quality and the value uh, propositions that you have mentioned above there? Well, at the end of the day, mm. it's but uh, puts main focus on quality, mm. not quantity, mm. as you've actually said it, because that is actually what the world needs today. Mm. And it w- it's what the world has always needed. We find uh, an issue whereby uh, people usually run for quantity at the end of the day, actually, the quality is not mm. of benefit towards them. Mm. So ISBAT is actually having a state-of-the-art infrastructure mm. with all facilities available. We mm. have really experienced professors. We mm. actually ensure we get the best of the best mm. from across the world, not just Uganda. Yeah. So you're going to actually find professors coming all the way from India, oh yeah. coming all the way from Kenya, mm. and so much and so forth. And they do they, they're delivering the best of everything. Mm. You find it's a multicultural environment, which is actually a center for so many opportunities. So once a student walks into Isbat University, it's mm. a whole center of all learning. Okay. At the end of the day, by the time you come through us, you're all round citizen, responsible, ready mm. to develop and hands on. We put much emphasis on that. You can survive in any part of the world. Any part of the world. I mean, we're the first university, yeah. actually, before even COVID came in, yes. we were already offering online. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the time COVID came in, it was just a matter of integration. Mm-hmm. So uh, that brings you to the f- sense in that we focus mm. on career development. You know, when individuals are told to build their careers instead mm. of becoming job seekers, no matter what the world is subjected to, they will always fit within the given situation. Exactly. Now, let me uh, cross over to you, Mr. Kumar, again. Um, what are some of the attributes of uh, the holistic and outcomes outcome-based curriculum uh, that you offer okay. at ISBAT? Uh, yeah. Actually, when we talk about the outcome-based education, yes. then previously people were thinking the outcome means what a teacher is delivering. Mm. But now that actually is a whole scenario has been changed from last few decades. Now the outcome-based education, what ISBAT follows, that is the outcome of our students. Mm. So it doesn't matter that uh, the student is studying from a person who is PhD or double PhD or Mm. what education, but if the education is not reaching to the heart of student, that the student is able to demonstrate Mm. the skills what students has learned. So unless that is coming, the education has no meaning. So outcome-based education, what is the philosophy is, that the student should be able to produce the outcome of what he or she has learned. And the university of focuses on the holistic development of the students, mm-hmm. which includes that the student should not be uh, a- expert into the core competencies, but also should have a good amount of knowledge on mm. multidisciplinary account, research accumulation, and then analytical skills, problem solving, ICT literacy mm. and one unique proposition of is that is that uh, you know the world has uh, been learned a very big lesson during COVID also that whatever the business you are into the lawyer or medical or engineers or business and commerce or banking or finance anything in the world but if it is not integrated with the technology in that case all those business cannot sustain in the world. So the main thing is the is that all the programs, whether it is of health sciences or related to business commerce Mm. or engineering or computers or uh, PhD, everything is connected with the technology technology integrated. Oh yeah. And the students are taken care for curriculum, Mm co-curricular and extracurricular activities. Mm. So that makes a kind of leadership qualities, communication qualities and how to excel in the field Mm. apart from the technical skills, non-technical, soft skills, Mm. cognitive skills, Mm. those are the major focuses are given in holistic Mm. propositions. 
hivi 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 kwata ku East Bat University na mba tupina batu jikuwa uh, na tuna atiru kumaliriza na ini kuchitimba kwe wali kwe just take a mu East Bat uja kubanga osobola obafuna now still over to you Mr. Kumar we've talked about the holistic and um, the outcomes of the students um, best curriculums that you have but now let's talk about the actual programs that you offer at the East Bat University, okay, the uh, courses. Uh, yes. yes, actually the university offers its programs yeah. through various faculty of studies. Mm -hmm. So the university is having a uh, faculty of uh, ICT, mm -hmm. which offers the programs of a uh, bachelor's degree in computer science, mm -hmm. in graphics and multimedia, visual effects, mm -hmm. then uh, in uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, cyber security, and also the masters in uh, MSc IT with three different specializations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the university also offers through the Faculty of Engineering, mm. the Bachelor of Communication and Electronics Engineering, Bachelor of Computer Science Engineering, and uh, then the university is also having the Faculty of Business and Commerce, okay. which uh, offers the programs of BBA in International mm. Business mm. and International Marketing, then BCom and uh, the B Bachelor of Science in Applied Economics, mm -hmm. Bachelor of Science in Accounting and Finance, mm. so and also the Hotel Management Program. All that is still under the Faculty that is still of Business, under the and, Faculty Commerce, Business. Yeah. and also the mm. MBA with four different specialization in logistics, in operationals, HR, finance, mm -hmm. and different kind of uh, management degrees. Okay. Also the university offers the programs in public health. Mm. Uh, we have two unique uh, programs which were offered by the Honorable Health Minister. Mm -hmm. It was inaugurated by the Honorable Minister. That was the one of the Bachelor of Medical Imaging Technology mm -hmm. and Bachelor of Medical Laboratory Technologies and also the Master of Public Health with the three different specializations. Mm. And also like uh, already we discussed that the university also offers PhD programs under the faculty of uh, graduate studies and research. Mm. And one thing more, that all our programs are also available apart from in-campus online model as well. Oh the yeah. university has got complete accreditation by the uh, National Council for Higher Education, Higher education yeah. for the online education as well. As we conclude, Mr. Fad Musa, now let me come back to you. What about you can to get Twitter, the new normal. Many of very travel more COVID, the new normal, yeah, cigar and after, yeah. Um, what are the dynamics of the new normal to East Bat University? Well, uh, thank you once again, Mr. Mm. Henry. So, mm. East, Bat, uh, un East Bat University's foresight mm. into the smart learning yeah. uh, enabled us to think and act proactively. Mm -hmm. And uh, hence, when East Bat implemented its ERP system, or would actually say it's a learning module that is mm. digital mm. in nature to our listeners so they have a better understanding, in 2016, it was planned on an integration of a hybrid blended learning platform, mm. which means I would, I would summarize it in a way that you look at the entire university with all the facilities mm. has, but it is digitalized in mm. nature, which means students are actually able to access mm. everything wherever mm. they are, mm. be able to access their lecture notes, lecture mm. videos, their mm. timetables, mm. their programs that are soon to come up, university mm. exams, assignments, mm. and so much. In fact, it is so conducive in that they're actually able to even tell how much their fees balance is and how much they have to be cleared, wow. which is also actually beneficial for a parent as well mm. to follow up, and also attendance is mm. recorded through that. Yes, it's yes, really yes. dynamic mm. and so much more. Mm. So, popularly known as LMS elsewhere in the world, uh, mm. this was successfully implemented in 2018 with mm. the full accreditation of National Council for Education. Mm. So the university was fully equipped well before the COVID-19 outbreak, mm. as I actually stated earlier. Mm. The number of students at East but or no student at East but had any academic loss no we continued because of because of covid we continued mm. we continued mm. exams were done mm. people graduated people mm. excelled and mm. so much more i mean by the time the world came back to the normal <laughs> we were actually you are already <laughs> in your normal <laughs> yes yeah so the idea was to actually provide mm. value addition to our students eh? mm. such that she or she can access to our vast academic resources including mm. electronic library which mm. is also accessed through the same platform mm. anytime anywhere in the world mm. all stakeholders such as students parents sponsors lecturers have relevant access for the required information so we strongly feel a hybrid blended learning is going to be the new normal in mm. education as mm. we could actually expect 
a pandemic or any other similar catastrophic situations may mm. arise anytime in the future. You, you know never know. You can you never, never know. know. That's yeah. why you actually not only have to have a goal but a vision mm. of something because at the mm. end of the day it helps you fit within. Mm. Yes. So the university provides support for online education. Okay. We have had numerous students who mm. have actually gone through us in terms of online education before. Mm. All the way, we even have students in Germany. Mm -hmm. You find people are in Asia studying yes. with us, and yes. they are able to graduate. And mm -hmm. as uh, Dr. Pradeep earlier mentioned, we actually mm -hmm. received the accreditation to run online distance e-learning. Mm -hmm. Now, the beauty about that is, regardless of the fact that, let's say, somebody is in Gulu, mm -hmm. somebody is in Arua, mm -hmm. somebody is in Iganga, mm -hmm. somebody is in Jinja, let's say all the far distance regions. Mm -hmm. We all know how the high standards of living in Kampala are. Mm -hmm. Uh, roughly, a student can actually spend almost close to 6 million Ugandan shillings mm. in a space of four months mm. just in feeding, transportation, and accommodation. That is just a rough estimate. Mm. It can be beyond that. Mm. But now, here comes Isbat offering you Odell, which is online distance e-learning. Mm. Stay wherever you are at the comfort of your home, mm. the comfort of your office, mm. your working class person. Mm. Enroll with Isbat across the programs available, mm. and then we did get your master's, get your bachelor's, get your diploma. Oh, yeah. As we conclude, um, Mr. Pradeep, how is the, the online um, programs conducted different from what other universities do at yes, ISBAT? Actually yeah. the ISBAT University online, how mm. it is different from others, mm. that the new normal which the world has uh, seen after the pandemic, mm. that shows that uh, if we are going only online, that is not sufficient because that is already being offered by others also. Mm -hmm. So the ISVET online, how it is different from other is that it is online and blended as well. Mm. So it means when the all the contents, lecture notes, videos, and various additional materials are available to all of our learners through online portal, apart from that, we have the integration of artificial intelligence in our learning mm. so that any student who needs an online help so that they are having a connect directly within 24 hours like their all issues are taken care apart from that is that also offers the per, uh, the personal contact programs yeah. the pcp which is directly a link to the students so that every week uh, the session also is available to the students that apart from online if they want to learn with directly with the teacher so something if they are practicing by themselves but mm. through online normally what other universities do that it is up to them that go through the material and go through but it is a preposition where the students have also connect uh, with the students and mm. teacher connection oh yeah and uh, also all the lecture notes everything is available but plus one more thing i would like to inform to our all listeners that the university is offering these days a free IT boot camp uh, which is going on these days uh, in Kampala in our main campus at Logogo Bypass. That is on March 5th, 6th and 7th. So any person who is interested in learning IT coding, just no need to pay anything, just walk into our main campus and enjoy the see that, that how our teachers and our faculty members are providing coding exercises. And those exercises, anybody who is a layman who have not done anything in coding, they can enjoy and they can learn. And uh, apart from that, on March 12th and 13th, Tuesday and Wednesday next week, we are also coming up with another free uh, workshop for the business and commerce for those aspirants and working professionals. If anybody wants to take admission, they want to just have an idea that how the business planning or leadership skills and the major thing is how the in uh, integrated business IT integration with business and commerce can be utilized. It's a free workshop for everyone whosoever is interested can just confirm to the ISBAT uh, phone numbers that okay I'm interested and just walk in and uh, they are in. Fantastic. This this is free. The coding one exactly, is free. Exactly. I just, we just enter and come free of judge. Oof, I'm coming myself. <laughs> you know, I, I always want to expand with my knowledge. As we conclude, Mr. Musa uh, Fad, we understand that there's a new city campus. The, the main campus is at the Lugogo Bypass. Yes. And then there's a new city campus. Conrad Plaza. Conrad Plaza. Plaza. What courses are there? Actually, to, mm. to just make something clear, it mm. is as funny as City Campus gave birth to Main Campus. Oh, seriously? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I don't know if you've before uh, <laughs> formerly heard of Uptech Computer Education. Okay. Yes, mm. that is now Eastbat University City Campus. Okay. Yeah, so it gave birth to Main Campus. Mm. So a uh, City Campus also has its own beauty mm. that it offers. For mm. instance, uh, to break it in a more understandable way, to all our listeners out there, 
So Eastbat has currently two campuses. That is uh, Eastbat mm. Main Campus, mm. located Lugogo Bypass, okay. Rotary Avenue, or mm. opposite Mirembe Business Center, mm. or mm. somebody knows Lugogo House. Yes. Or where the bikers usually get bikes from, which mm. is Vema, mm. or where people go and shop the Lamborghinis and mm. so on at Mighty Rides. So yes, right yes, opposite yes. is Eastbat. Mm. Mm. And uh, City Campus is right on Conrad Plaza, as mm. you finish off Nassau Road, or mm. as you start in Tebe Road. Mm. So I will actually give a difference of the two. Please. So when you come at Main Campus, we have programs that are starting from higher education certificate. Mm -hmm. What higher education certificate is, it's a bridging course. Mm. If, for instance, now the results are going to come out for senior six, mm. you know information is actually key. That's true. If yes. somebody fails to get the two principal passes, mm. that is one area people need to know. You don't need to actually repeat a level. Come at East Batch University, we have a education certificate. It's an eight months program. Mm. Do it for eight months in the faculty of your choice or a program of your choice, immediately enroll for a degree. Awesome. So we start from HEC all the way to bachelor's. We have master's programs until PhD. That is main campus. Mm. But at City Campus, we actually have short programs in terms of short certificates. Somebody can actually do for five months, three mm. months. Mm. Then we also offer the UBTEB program. Mm. Now, UBTEB is specifically for the senior four leavers, people mm. who are actually branching and specializing. They yeah. don't want to actually continue with a level. They want to specialize in a particular area mm. or ap acquire a particular skill in their mm. life. That mm. is what is happening at City Campus. Then we also have numerous diploma mm. programs mm. at City Campus. So that is actually what we offer at both uh, campuses. Uh, and yes, um, one thing more uh, mm. with my colleague, I would like to just add one more thing. Mm. That apart from when we talk about the certificate programs in multimedia, management, mm. software mm. engineering, apart from that, a person also can do a diploma in hardware networking, yeah. diploma in networking, cybersecurity, software engineering, graphics, mm. multimedia, VFX effects. So all the things are available based on the customized thing because some professionals who already have done a kind of degree before mm -hmm. and now they are working you know that technology is changing every time with a faster speed mm. so the person need not to do the whole degree again people who are already working professionals they want to reskill or upskills their competencies they can join we have courses from two months of duration to uh, two years so they can choose that okay which are and especially we have some uh, special considerations if some uh, corporates if they are willing they want to send some people a group of people so that uh, we can make a customized batch uh, according to their requirement as well awesome thank you so much guys unfortunately we are out of time but in case there's somebody out there who still has more queries who needs more information how can they get in touch with you yes uh, so mm. what they can do that uh, they can just get in touch uh, this is we our main campus is available at uh, plot 11a rotary avenue logo go bypass road mm -hmm. and uh, this is our some of the landline numbers i would just like to say to our listeners mm. that this is uh, 414 524 mm -hmm. and in place of last four you can pi put five or six also so just i repeat 237 524 or five to five or five to six. Thank you so much. We have your next comic home with the Galaxy FM is the radio that you tuned in to coming up. For more of this, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Galaxy FM TV.